one day this childhood like classmate he asked me if i wanted to go to some motorcycle races and i had no idea i was actually into baseball and playing football and stuff like that i really didn't know what motorcycle riding was all about until the day i was introduced to the costa mesa speedway class one day and there is this student next to me his name was Mike DeMont and Mike said hey Brian do you want to go to the Speedway motorcycle races tonight and I said what what are you talking about and he said my sister works in the concession stand she sells like beer or popcorn or something and she can get two people in and I'm one of them and do you want to go with me with my sister she'll with my sister, she'll drive. And I said, yeah, why not, why not? So I went to his house uh, early, like four o'clock or whatever it was. And then we got to the races at like five or six or five. And then we stayed around and we wa I watched my first professional motorcycle race at the Costa Mesa Fairgrounds back in the day. It was just like, wow, I was totally hooked. When I went home, I, all I could think of is this racing and the speedway and everything. And I'm thinking, I'm so excited to go back next week. And so the next week was coming around and I went... And I'm thinking, I'm so excited to go back next week. And so the next week was coming around and I went up to Mike in my class at uh, La Vida Elementary School and I said, hey Mike, I wanna go to that Speedway race again Friday night. Can we go uh, tonight or tomorrow night? And Mike said, no, can't go. I said, why? He said, my sister said, no more. You can't ever go to a Speedway race again. She doesn't want you to go and you know she got in trouble or something and I said huh what and I said oh I gotta go I gotta go so that was the start of it someone told me no you cannot go to a speedway race and I said you want to make a bet I will go I will go <laughs> that I couldn't get a ride to Speedway and he told me I would never go to Speedway again like with his sister and I thought I gotta go I gotta go so I just figured out a way to go like I'm asking my mom like hey mom can I go to Costa Mesa and I think a couple times she actually dropped me off when I was just a little kid and I had no way to get home I'm like stuck at the races but I, I just had so much fun it didn't matter so I was like asking people next to me like, hey, can I have a ride home? I live in Orange and like, are you going that way? And they say, no, I live in like Laguna Beach. And I go, oh gosh. So a couple times I had to like go out in the street on the way home and like hitchhike as a little boy. Like, I need to go home. I'm at Costa Mesa Fairgrounds. I gotta go home. And people were like, 
where are you going? And I said, Orange, can you drop me off at like Chapman Avenue, like East? And they said, yeah, I'll give you a ride. So I get rides home. So I used to get hitchhiking to get off, go home from Speedway. My family didn't really want to pick me up or didn't have time. They're sleeping. I think, you know, it was late, like 10 o'clock. So I, I was always trying, going there. I said, just give me a ride, Mom, and I will find a way home. I didn't care. And my mom's like, okay. And so I used to go, and, and then I just love the races, like, every night. It was so cool. From Hollywood, it's the Doris Day Show. Yeah, it was so cool. And you will never go to a Speedway race again for the rest of your life. Never. You will not do a Speedway show. You will not do anything you will not collect $200, you will not pass go, you'll go to jail, you'll go directly to jail, as they say in Monopoly. No, that's not right, that did not happen. And I just fell in love with the Spear races. I mean, every Friday night I was like trying to find a ride home. I loved the races, but about half time, it was getting a little nervous, like I need a ride home, you know? It sucked, but it was fun, and I had a great time. And every day after the, after school, I was a little kid. I used to go to this shop on East Chapman. I guess it was West Chapman Avenue called Lamar Yamaha. It's no longer there like 100 years ago. And I used to go sitting on those motorcycles, the 125s, the 250s, the 400s. I could barely get on a 400. I was a little guy. And I'm sure that most of you have done that if you're into motorcycles and you're like little rug rat age like me. And we just dreaming of being on a motorcycle. And the salesman on the motorcycle shop was like, oh no, we got Brian again. He's on the motorcycle with his dirty hands, twisting the throttle, you know. <laughs> it was fun. And you know, those guys, they never really kicked me out of the shop. So that was really great. And I kept bugging my mom all the time, like, mom, I got to have a motorcycle. I just fell in love with motorcycle. I was dreaming and my mom's like, you will never have a motorcycle, Brian. I will never go to Speedway, Brian. 